I knew this was not gonna work. Why did I believe it? And some of these hacks, I'm like, what is the point? What's up my honey bunnies and welcome back to a new video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys are all doing well, staying safe and staying home if you guys can. So, of course there would be loud noises when I'm filming. <laughs> Anyways, today, so today's video is gonna be a fun one, at least for me, hopefully it is as well for you, that it's fun to watch for you guys. I am gonna be doing some viral TikTok and Instagram beauty hacks. I've been meaning to do this for months already, I think since like last year, but this was just like Instagram hacks that I've been saving on my phone. But now that I'm into TikTok, I've seen so many beauty hacks on there as well. So we're gonna be trying them on today, see which ones are worth while and which is just crazy so we're gonna start with the hair so as you can see i have loose waves and if you guys follow me on instagram you guys know what i did to my hair so it is the really popular i don't even know what to call them i think they're called robe curls where you take the little you know tie to your robes or a sweater this is actually a tie to a sweater so you just pretty much put it on your head like so, like this, and then you just start grabbing pieces of hair and just kind of like wrapping them in the thing. I actually have a video that I did last night at two in the morning <laughs> because I really wanted to try it out for uh, the video. So I will just leave the video here, but basically you put the band on your head, grab one piece and you wrap it around the, the robe tie or whatever maybe you have a towel something that's not going to be super bulky so then you wrap it around and then you have this piece right and then you get another piece like this together and then you pretty much wrap it around again the little robe tie and then you get another piece you connect them again and then you wrap it so you're pretty much wrapping and wrapping and wrapping your hair so i tried it let me tell you i did not like it it took me forever to finally get for it for it to stay because for some reason it just i mean when you're doing that you're pretty much getting like the ends right so at the end all this right here when you're done all of this right here is just kind of loose so it was really hard to keep it in place and then to tie it it was even harder because my little rope or my robe tie is really really long so it's kind of like a hassle i did this side like four times and then like this like seven so, so does this robe curls work yes it does work as you can see it gives you really nice like voluminous loose waves this is pretty much what i get when i use a wand a curling wand um will i do this again maybe but when i want like curls like heatless curls i just go for a braid i feel like that's way easier um it took me like almost 30 maybe like 35 minutes to do the um the rope curls and i feel like maybe i can get better with practice but i don't really want to try it i mean it's worth it because it looks really nice um some as you can see didn't really curl because like i said it was pretty loose and it's really hard to get it to stay like tight i did like it i would recommend for you guys to try it uh, but it does take kind of like maybe it was just me but i think it does take a little bit of you know effort to actually do it so moving on to the brows so for this one i don't know like it's kind of messy i don't really have that much brow powder it says that you can take a brow powder or just a eyeshadow like a brown eyeshadow that you want to use on your brows so i'm not going to use my brow product i'm just going to go ahead and use an eyeshadow and use brownie points from red apple lipstick this is one that i've used on my brows before and what they're doing is packing this eyeshadow color or powder on to your brows like so and i've seen them kind of go in like this like this way and then that way so we're just pretty much putting all that pigment in every little crevice every little hair so as you can see it's very messy but after that we're gonna clean it 
Okay, so next up, what they're doing is taking a makeup wipe. So I don't have makeup wipes. I don't use them. I think they're very wasteful. But I do use um, just recycled t-shirts. Just cut them into little pieces and just use them to like clean around the house, to use them to remove my makeup and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of toner because obviously it's dry. And you can just apply it with um, an angled brow brush and not waste so much product. All right, so that is what it looks like after I cleaned it up. So yes, it does work. It looks really good. Okay, so that was the brow hack. Again, it works. It just, it makes no sense to me. All right, so the next one I'm gonna be doing is from Instagram, and this one requires an eraser. A Q-tip, by the way, if you ever find wooden Q-tips, those are more eco-friendly. Uh, there's also like a reusable Q-tip that I'm trying to get my hands on, but I forgot what brand it was. But anyways, we're making a eyeliner stamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for it on my Instagram. And I'm gonna have to watch this carefully because I don't remember how to do it and I don't know how you're gonna cut it. But pretty much you cut a little piece of an eraser You guys can see that so she's cutting a piece of an eraser to look like a little triangle and what she does is stamp it with obviously you apply a product and then you like stamp it and then you drag it down so it gives you just like the perfect wing it looks like she's just taking the corners and just snipping them oh okay it does give you a really nice sharp that is the little piece that I cut off from the eraser. So you can probably use it this way and then turn it around and use it this way. So I'm gonna do that. Hopefully it works. So all she does is glue it to a little stick. In this case, she's using a little Q-tip. So that is what I'm gonna do. She did use a glue gun, but I cannot find mine. We have our little stamp. Let me show you guys up close. All right, so this is what my little stamp looks like. This, this is already a lot of work. What she does is pretty much places it where she wants it and she stamps it and then she drags it down, kind of like angling it so that the little peak, the tip, <laughs> um, actually drags in and it gives you just like the perfect wing. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the black product so we stamp it and then she drags it. Um, okay, so that did not work. Let's try it again. She makes it look so effortless. So again, stamps it and then drags it. Okay, no. It's just not working. I'm gonna try it on the other side. I feel like this needs a lot of practice. Like you really need to try this over and over. You stamp it and you drag it. Oh, okay, this one came out much, much better. If it didn't go all the way, you can just take your um, eyeliner and just Fill it in in the spots that there's no product. Okay, I have to give you guys a close up of what the liner looks like. It doesn't look all that great. You can tell I don't know how to do my <laughs> my wing liner. Did the little eraser DIY eraser wing liner stampy thingamajig worked kind of so it's not like a total fail I had to kind of finesse it a little bit but I find that maybe if you're barely practicing and you're on a budget and you don't can't find a good product that does this for you like a stamping product like for example this one <laughs> so this is pretty much the same thing as this it is pricier but you do get two um, this is the Chick Flick, a stamping eyeliner. So it's this in a better format. Um, but again, if you're in a budget, 
it was just not it for me like i said i already have a product that does that for me the chick flick let me show you so it comes with i think i have a video on it on my instagram maybe here too but anyways it is a on one side you have a little stamp let me open them up and on the other side you have a pencil and of course you can do the same with this you can use the little eraser stamp just stamp it where you want and then go back with your eyeliner pencil and just connect it you know what i mean so does it work yes it's just a lot of time for me so we're just gonna move on we're gonna leave that in the past and we're gonna move on that last one i found on instagram and then the next one is from tiktok watch change your whole routine and try this instead moisturize first then after moisturizing take some translucent powder i usually use the fit me one and i just lightly dab it all over my face not too much then take some setting spray it could be any setting spray i usually use the nyx one after the setting spray take a primer and just put your primer also wait for the setting spray to dry first then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your makeup is gonna look and it's gonna stay on 24 7 and it's not gonna crease okay so you guys heard that there's a lot of steps <laughs> a lot of products so it says to moisturize your skin so i'm gonna go ahead with my trusty osea atmosphere protection i just already feel like it's not gonna work for my skin i have a little bit of texture right now powder second so we're gonna powder this face this is gonna feel so weird by the way if you guys have tried any of these hacks let me know if it you know if they worked for you if you like them okay so usually for setting spray i just use a toner which i kind of feel like i should because the only one that i have in my collection is from cover effects and this is the high performing setting spray it's a 24 hour wear and this one literally feels like you're applying a very lightweight hairspray on your face so mm, let's try i feel like i'm gonna regret it but we're gonna give it a try i think for primer i'm gonna go ahead and try this one from milk makeup the gripping primer are you kidding me is this not gonna work no this can't be it's broken <laughs> and i can't even can i open it no you can't open it <gasps> no okay this is just insane i have a feeling that once i apply the primer it's just gonna ball up i'm gonna go ahead and use one of the um bite ones and so she said powder setting spray primer okay so it's not peeling because i did use the primer from bite i'm just gonna go ahead and use the foundation from bite and i'm just gonna go with the shade m60 and we're gonna see how this works hopefully it works i knew it i knew this was not gonna work why did i believe it it is already like getting really patchy right here I knew that was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna get patchiness and pilling, and it was just not gonna look flawless on me. And it just doesn't. I feel like maybe this is gonna work for someone who, I don't know. But I'm gonna bring you guys closer as soon as I'm done, you know, bouncing all of this foundation on my face. <laughs> Do you guys see right here? Okay, so that's the little patchiness that I'm talking about. I have it over here as well. And then I have some over here. Let's see the forehead. A lot of like fine lines, as you can see. Usually my fine lines are not this noticeable. So I find that this is like making them look even more apparent. So this is for sure a fail for me. I find that it's just way too many products. This is way, way too many products that I just, on, on a regular basis, I just don't use. For example, I don't go for like, setting powders and setting sprays on a regular so i'm just not used to that 
I do use foundation and moisturizer and sometimes primer, but for the most part, it's just a good moisturizer and a good foundation, and then I call it a day. And it's also creasing on my chin already, so definitely not creaseless, not flawless. So it didn't work out for me. So that was the foundation, again, a fail. So we're gonna go ahead and add, actually, I do have another hack. It's a highlighting hack. And not really a hack. I mean, I've done this before with foundation. Basically what you need is an oil, face oil. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of oil right here. And we are gonna need your favorite highlighter. So we're turning a powder highlighter into a cream or oil highlighter, like the ones from like Maya Chia or like, what is the other one that has like really nice, like oily, uh, they're like highlighting oils if you don't have a highlighter what you do is you take an eyeshadow that can work as a highlighter for your skin tone and this one looks like it's gonna work because it's more of a golden you know shimmery eyeshadow this is from Prisma palette and it is the shimmer beige and it's a really beautiful color let me swatch it so you guys can see it there you go, very nice and shimmery and glowy and my oil's already all the way down here. So you're gonna pick up a little bit of the product, maybe like with your nail, and we're just gonna dump it on top of the oil. All right, so I have a whole bunch of like highlight right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. Okay, so yeah, this works. Oil just gives you that wet look and then that shimmer just makes it even better. So yes, I definitely like this one. Why are my dogs going so crazy today? <sighs> They're driving me insane. Okay, so I'm almost done with this video. All I have is one more hack and this is for the lips. So this one looks really, really pretty and I've been wanting to try this for a while. Um, I've actually had this saved since like last year sometime in the beginning of last year and it's pretty much you apply a colored lipstick on and then you apply concealer on the edges uh, like so and then she just like kind of like mixes it together and she blots and then she mixes it or blends it and then it just looks like she has the product just on the inner parts of her lips. For that, I'm gonna be using the new Axiology Lip to Lid Balmies, and these are zero waste products, and that is really, really important to me. It's vegan, cruelty-free, zero waste, so it checks all the boxes for me. So this is what the box looks like, and you just slide this up, and you get your little three shades so they're actually really really tiny but you do get a full size product in here you just don't get the bulky plastic containers and tubes and stuff like that so it is a naked zero waste type of makeup product and i think that's really important so the box is also really nice and just i love the color it's also made with trash collected from bali and i think that's really really cool so it is 100 percent recyclable you have nine different shades that you can buy individually or you can get sets like these and i think they have three different sets this one i think is the um what is this one called i think it's of the earth set so it has more like duty like earthy tones there's one that's like a malibu one that has more like peachy tones uh so this one is a really nice set because i really do love every single shade i did do some swatches on my instagram if you guys don't follow me it is at the cruelty free vanity but yeah so we're going to use this i'm going to be using the darker shade this one is called cherry then it also comes with nude plum which is also a really pretty color and this one can be used on the eyes or well, all of them can be used on the eyes the cheeks the lips uh, this one is a shimmery golden kind of like a champagne color and it is a it's called caramel and it is more of a golden shade of highlight so you can use it as highlight in the inner corners as an eyeshadow on the cupid's bow anywhere that you want to highlight i think that's going to be perfect you can also highlight in the middle of your lips so these are actually really nice and i love that they're not slippy and like super oily they do have a nice grip and they do last a pretty long time on the lips this one reminds me of a color that i used to have from them i don't remember what it was called it's 
So right here. Do that. Cause that's what it looked like she did. There you go. Last step is that she blends it out with a sponge. So that is what I'm gonna do is she presses her lips together and then she just like blends it off. <laughs> oh my goodness. These hacks are just not working. A lot of these hacks, I mean, they have to do it like really quick videos. I feel like they don't show you like the finessing process. They just show you like just the quick steps. Like that makes it look super fast and easy. Like you're gonna get the same results. And as you can see, you don't always get the same results. I'm gonna try to add a little more because my lips look super tiny now. I'm gonna add a little more color. That was the lip hack. I wasn't totally impressed. I mean, the way she made it seem, it looked really, really cool. But I just find that I don't like this type of look on my lips because my lips are already pretty thin. It just makes my lips even thinner and smaller and I'm just not going for that look. Um, and it just kind of wasted my concealer, honestly. But I mean, it is a really nice look. I've seen it on so many people that have like fuller lips and it just looks really nice because it just looks like, you know, like that just bitten type of look on the lips. It's really, really pretty. That was the last beauty hack or makeup hack. So that concludes this video. I honestly don't think I really absolutely loved any of these hacks. The foundation one is horrible. I just went to my other mirror, like where it has a little bit better lighting or like different lighting. And wow, you can see there's like patchiness right here, right here. There's like so much patchiness on my chin that you can't really see. I'm gonna like give you guys a close up in a bit, but wow, it is really horrible. I did not like this hack whatsoever. What else did I try? Oh, the highlight. That was actually the one that I liked the most out of all of the hacks that I tried. That one looks really pretty. It, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little TikTok and Instagram beauty or makeup hacks. If you guys have any more hacks that you guys want me to try to see if they work, these are really fun because it just kind of takes your mind off of what's going on and just focuses on something fun and you know, you get to play around with makeup. So I think it's really fun. Definitely give it a try. But some of these hacks are just nonsense to me, honestly. And I really want to find like a good, hack that I can actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any hacks, if you guys have Instagram videos that you guys have seen, I'll link them down below. I would really love to see them. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't done so. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.